Frank Zappa, father of oblivion. Frank Zappa was my next door neighbor for three years when we lived in Vossenaar, Holland. My sister used to babysit Dweezil when he was a baby and Moon Unit, who Frank called Moon. Um, I just knew him as my weird, cool neighbor. And uh, he actually gave me my very first guitar lesson. Um, he had a black Les Paul custom, and I have always loved Les Paul customs. So what he did is, I'll never forget, he, he sat down across from me, he handed me his guitar, and I remember it being the heaviest thing in the world. This was, oh gosh, 1970, 1971. And he made me play a G chord. And he says, oh, a lot of people play it like this, you can play it like this, and you know, he spoke way over my head. But he said something really interesting. He said, you can make a G chord into a million things depending on how you play it. Don't think about it too much, just play it and listen and keep listening. And I always thought that was the coolest thing. And I didn't really know who he was other than my neighbor. And I remember uh, around that time, he took me and my sister to uh, an area in Holland called Fondel Park, which was in Amsterdam. And he wanted us to hear his band and right down the street from us, uh, two bands lived together, Golden Earring and Hocus Pocus. Golden Earring had that song, Radar Love. Hocus Pocus had that song, Focus. Uh, it goes like this. Anyway, they lived down the street from us on a corner and they used to rehearse in their backyard. So we used to hear all this music going on all the time. Anyway, Frank Zappa took us backstage to hear those two bands himself. And there was a band from England that I remember calling Space Music. And I got to hear the album Dark Side of the Moon all the way through before it was ever released. And I had no idea what I was listening to until years later, but it was just another really fond memory um, that Frank was my neighbor. And I remember a few years later hearing this song thinking I'll never be able to play that on guitar. So. I just wanted to share that and show you that cool little riff, which I now use with my students, is exercises. And remember talking about the beat, one and two and one and two and... Okay, I'll slow that down a little, uh, a little later. Ready and one and... just a really good exercise because you're picking, you're pulling off. Okay, here's the Father Oblivion exercise. Okay, so what makes this uh, lick kind of hard, it's kind of like a country riff or a bluegrass riff where you uh, have a combination of picking and pull-offs. So it creates a really natural roll. So when you slow it down too much, you kind of lose the feel of it. But I'll do it for education purposes. So you hear it out of context when I do it, uh, just at that slow and cut it off there. So let me add it, add the next two phrases. Hear that da 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 da. So if I picked it out, and... when if I pick it out like that, it loses that roll. It loses that roll as aspect. Okay, let me slow it down again. So now I'll talk it through. Pick, pick, pull. Pick, 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 pull. Okay. A little faster. Okay. Just increase the speed a little bit at a time.
oblivion.